Hey everybody. So, tip Tuesday, actually on a Tuesday for a change. Um, I wanted to pop in here today and talk about me the, and make a case for why you might not actually need a bookkeeper. And yes, I am a bookkeeper and a tax preparer and I'm here to argue why you might not need me. Um, so you'll, you'll get to a point in your business where people will come and start saying, well, you need to outsource. You need to start handing off tasks. You're too busy focusing on your zone of genius. And I just did that in any one from my uh, last week's post. But I'm also here to tell you that sometimes the bookkeeping piece is not the first one you should hand off. Um, because if you don't know how your numbers work, how do you know the person you're hiring is doing a proper job? How do you know the person you're hiring is not somehow misdirecting money? How do you know the person that you're hiring is not accessing your accounts and doing, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not creative that way, so I don't know how they could do it because it's not my gig. But there are people that do all sorts of crazy things. And they embezzle money and do just like just nuts what people, um, some of the stories I've heard. But what I what I want to say to you is that sometimes outsourcing this is not the best choice, especially if you're going to outsource overseas. You're going to outsource to people that aren't native. And no offense, there's some people that do this wonderfully well, but not native to your country or place where you live. And again, Canada, US, Europe, overseas, anywhere, someone in, lives in the country you live in will know the the nuances of your bookkeeping. They'll know the nuances of your expenses. They'll know um, to, they'll just know that this means that it's a hotel or a restaurant and not something else. Like it just, there's all sorts of nuances that you'll, that will get missed. Um, but there's also the piece that you should know what's happening with your money. You should have an idea how it should all play out. Um, so what I, what I wanted to say that, you know, hiring, it isn't always in your best interest, right? To start out with that piece, hire out some of the other pieces, some data entry, some admin, some, you know, social media content, all that kind of stuff, hire that piece out and then find somebody that will work with you to teach you, to set your system up, to do your bookkeeping and have a hand in it, have a hand in it for at least six months, just so you know how it's working how the system comes together, how the pieces, especially in an online business, there's so many moving pieces. You've got, you know, your, you've got your um, shopping cart and your payment processors and there might be like four or five payment processors and you've got your membership sites and you've got your banks and your credit cards and your PayPal and your Stripe and you've got all these pieces. And if you don't have some kind of clue how it's all coming together, then you will be in a really vulnerable position of, being at the mercy of someone else as far as all of those pieces. And I don't want you to be there. I would much rather you see you get into a, 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 a not a situation, but get into a um, relationship with someone that will take you along the path with them. They'll help you set up what you need to get set up to make sure it makes it easy and systematized and um, understandable to you. And then have, you know, you do a little bit of the work. You do a bit of the background, even if you hate it. And I know so many of you do. You just hate this stuff. But I trust you. If you can work on your website or if you can run a Facebook ad, you can do the software for bookkeeping for a basic piece to get an idea of how it all works. Truly, you can. Um, so I would suggest, and that's the way I try to get as many of my clients to go, is to let's get it done together. So you know and understand and get what you're looking at. Um, you get to understand how the numbers going in, how they feed out on those reports. You have an idea what is in the reports, where the money goes, where those different types of transactions sit. You don't need to know it all because, you know, it, with a good bookkeeper um, or accountant, they will talk to you about it. They will share. They will teach you so you can learn that. Um, and then, you know, as you grow or you get past that six month, you go, yeah, absolutely. I don't want to do this, but I feel confident knowing that I know enough to oversee it or to be educated about my own business and to know my numbers then you know then you can hand that off but like anything else you don't need to do it all but you do need to know and it's an especially important piece people put this aside and they have no idea whether they're making money whether they're making a profit they have no idea how much they're wasting on um, apps they're not using because they just don't ever look at it right we all buy software and apps stop using them keep paying for them do you have any idea how much that is 
that this is one of the biggest pieces I find with my clients that they are paying for all these subscriptions and they're not even using them, but they don't even know they're paying for them because they're not looking at it. So that is my case for saying that you don't want to hire a bookkeeper to do it all for you right from the beginning. I want you to start looking for a bookkeeper and accountant who will do it with you in the beginning. And it's also a lot more cash flow friendly generally than having someone doing it all for you. Um, but I think it's an important step in growing your business. When you get to that point where you're looking at, you need help with it, start asking the right kind of questions and getting the right kind of help. I am in the process of creating a, a guide that, uh, that shows you the differences between an accountant and a bookkeeper, um, how to interview someone for that, or the quite questions to ask when you're looking for someone. It's not quite done yet, but it will be soon. So when it is, just um, if you want to like this page, like my page, like the post, do the following, um, it'll come up and you'll get a copy of that once I release it. It's just in the final stages of being completed. Um, and that should help you with, you know, making some choices of who you're going to work with as well. But that's what I want to say. Um, I'm just trying to say I've got some other notes here. If there's anything else here that I want to cover, no. That was the basics of it. So if you have any questions, anything about this, any sort of ideas, suggestions, thoughts, tell me what you're doing now that's working, what you've got, maybe that's not working, and I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. We'll talk soon. Tip Tuesday in the books. Cheers. <laughs>